Welcome everybody to Short Final. Today's video is a little bit different. It will not be in a flight simulator, but rather on the outside of it. And we're gonna I'm gonna do a sh really short tutorial on how to basically use something called DXTBMP. This is a file converter for FS2004 and most flight sims ahead of that. And I believe FS2002 also if you still use that. I have it, but I do not have it installed and probably never will again. Alrighty, so if you open up the DXTBMP, I'm actually going to close this and reopen it, you'll get this. And it's pretty much a blank white screen, huge blank uh, white area, a little bit of writing and stuff on the side, and a little bit on the top. So this is for an alpha channel. This is what makes an airplane shiny. Um, then right below it, there's a thing called MIP maps. If this when you install it if this is checked uncheck it if you add this it's going to look really blurry when you look at it from certain ang when you look at the repaint from certain angles you do not want that 16 bit dying third you don't really need that um these are just how the mint maps are done i just put it in gaussian i really don't think you need it i just did that cuz that was what i found that worked the best when i didn't know that this meant or this was the cause of the blurries a while ago when I was pretty new to it. Um, and then below, de below this, you can select an editor. I have mine set as paint.net. So basically what paint.net is, is a freeware tool that you can download offline. It is kind of like Photoshop. It's a little bit easier to use, and you don't have to pay for it. It's perfectly free. And to... Um, edit Photoshop files, you can just get the PSD plugin. And this is what I do and use for all all of my repaints. And if I do make a repaint, it's usually in here. So it is pretty it is very good. Um, I recommend it if you don't want to spend the money on fo for Photoshop. Okay, so go back into DXT BMP. We're going to go over here, pull that to the side and pull up our texture. So this is the Southwest 737-700 in Warrior 1 livery from Southwest. It's bearded Kitty Hawk, actually. My mistake. So I did not paint this. I got it offline. However, it does not have an alpha channel. So basically, I'm going to show you how to convert a file and save it and put in an alpha channel. So what an alpha channel does is it makes an aircraft shiny depending on how dark it is. White means there is absolutely no shine on the airplane. Black means the airplane is like very, very shiny. On the default, I think Pacific, American Pacific livery in the 737, the bottom of it, it's really shiny. That has an alpha channel that is solid black. Alrighty, so what we're going to do now is we are going to go ahead and add an alpha channel and then save it. So, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to import an alpha channel. If there was already an alpha channel there, you're going to want to either import or create a new one. I always recommend import, and then it'll give you this. Just press OK. Next, um, I went ahead and got all my 737-700 alpha channels off of a different airplane, and I saved them in a file. I also have it for the 800. All the alpha channels for an 800. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pick the alpha channel that matches the, air, the section we're on. So we're on the aircraft forward fuselage. So we're going to click it, open, and it's going to bring up this. So now it has something that matches it. We're going to go to alpha, apply alpha to image. It's going to flash, everything will be fine. And then you go up to file, save as, extended bitmap. It will give you this. Do not change the name. All you have to do is, if it's in a DDS format, um, actually if you want to save it as a DDS, you can go like this, save as DDS, and you can save that. That is for FSX, DXD3, or a 32-bit 888-8. That is if you're using FSX. If you're using FS2004, you can save as an extended bitmap. Now you can have the choice between a DXD3 or a 32-bit. I usually use 32-bit, but if you don't want to use 32-bit, you can use DXD3. I'll use it for this video. There's really no difference between them. DXD3 is a lot smaller file, and it takes up less CPU 
um, processing. So you'll have a little bit faster frames when you use DXT3. So for that cause, we're going to save in DXT3. Now, to make it a little bit quicker, I'm just going to pull it half and half. And we are going to go and get the rest of them. Um, if I want to make sure you get the right file, a lot of them will have a T and an L right after the name. The L means nighttime. The daytime or the T. So you get this one, import new alpha channel, center fuselage, save, apply alpha to image, save as extended bitmap, and DXT3. And you just have to do this for the rest of them. So this can take a little bit of time. Um, it's even harder when you have to resize a texture. I've only done it once. I never want to do it again. Now another cool thing with uh, DXDBMP is if you don't want to re like change the t texture file type, you can just press save and it'll bring up that immediately. So we're going to go to engine two. Nope, not that one. Engine R. There we go. And just open it up. Grab the engine alpha. Apply out for the image file. Save DXT3. And just continue doing this. And the cool part about this is, once you're done, usually the aircraft will look a lot nicer. If it does not, however, you probably forgot to save it as the right kind of file, or you just messed up with some some part of the conversion process. I've done that a couple of times. So if you do it once or twice, don't be don't be afraid. Like it it probably just didn't convert it right. So you just have to go back and reconvert it, which isn't that difficult. So yeah, you just have to do this for all of them. Um, it's the three fuselage sections, the two engine sections, and the wings. Wing alpha. Oh, it's the exact same one. Save as. Extended bitmap. And I think the other one's already got it. Yes, the other one already has it. So we already have all the wing BMPs, and that is all finished. Now if you are doing one of the default aircraft you see here I will grab the extra 300 if I can find it, there it is if you might have noticed the extra 300 has had if you look at it in the default simulator it will be really blurry if you look at it from angles other than straight on from the side it'll actually get blurry the reason it's doing this is because of the MIP maps. Now to fix this, and the texture is a very, very small format. If you look at it, it is very tiny. To fix this, it is because it has MIP maps. So if you do not want that, do not click this. File, save as extended bitmap. And it's a DXT1 file right now, which does not help either. And then you just have to go through and resave it as a DXT3 and then it'll actually get rid of all those other parts and the aircraft will look fine again so that is pretty much the basic tutorial on how to use DXT BMP it is pretty simple there's not much to it and it'll make it'll make your aircraft look a lot nicer if you know how to use it um, if you have an aircraft that's really blurry it's just the bit maps. Um, other than that, preferences, you can display toolbars, you can display alpha channel if you don't want it like that, you can just get rid of that. Same with the toolbars, if you don't want them, you can make it, you can actually just get rid of them. preferences. Uh, to select the editor, you just go preference, select editor. Image, you can save image, import new. Um, but I found that it's a, just a lot faster to click and drag. And then preview, you can preview the image and what it would look like. So that's pretty much all there is to DXD BMP. And yeah, that's it's actually very simple to use. It takes a little bit to learn. And then once you get it down, it's very, very simple.
and you can go and you can convert a whole set of files in a few minutes. So alrighty, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and have a nice day. See ya.